Hi YouTube, Coin Picker and Silly Coin Picker here. These are our thrift store finds for the past couple weeks. I thought I'd save, you know, a number of finds to show you all at once instead of going individually, which might be uh, a little bit on the boring side. But uh, here we go, sort of like in chronological order. Found this uh, 925 sterling silver spoon from Mexico for 99 cents. And it says right here, 925 Mexico. Nice big piece. And this, I believe, was also like a buck or two. Um, it's not s silver, but it is old. It is commemorating um, Earl Kitchener for World War One. So the great army or the army. So as a collectible piece, you know, it's quite ornate. Um, you know, who knows, maybe worth 10, 15 bucks. And this I found at the thrift store one day. Um, it was in their sorting area in a cardboard box. So I picked it out and asked them the price for me. And it is from Thailand, but you know, back when they called it Siam about a hundred years ago, silver. And uh, first thing I noticed when I picked it up, it says here, sterling made in Siam. So it has a bit of age to it. So they um, priced it for me and I was thinking, oh wow, $129. No, they go, no, 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 $1.29. So that was definitely a keeper. But uh, I was really worried because it, it's so obvious, so blatant that it says sterling silver. You know, I thought they would price it like, you know, like a piece of jewelry, like $10, $20. And got a little bit of porcelain, some Limoges porcelain. This is just transfer wear, but it's pretty neat. It's a little trinket box. So we have all the markings, Limoges France. And I think this was like $1.99 or so. And uh, found this, they call it a grease jar, and it is, there's a maker's mark here, Anchor Hawking USA. And um, this is actually part of the, um, you know, the jadeite line. You know, it was, the color was really, this glass color was very popular back in the 40s all the way to the 60s. And this is considered, or it's called a grease jar. So it's um, kitchenware. And you know, when you fry bacon, whatever, you know, they used to save the grease in these jars for, you know, reuse. This was only $1.99. And it's actually worth about 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks. So it's pretty good shape. Uh, funny story with this is, um, I remember my grandparents um, used to drink tea out of these jadeite mugs. So a very similar, similar color. And uh, you know, theirs were tea stained on the bottom of their mugs, you know, because they drank Chinese black tea every morning from them. And um, didn't realize that they were so collectible, you know, until someone from the flea market that I, you know, the people I talked to, chat with, um, said, hey, yeah, those mugs are like 20, 30 bucks each. And um, after my grandparents passed, I think we donated all that, you know, stuff, either trash, you know, threw it away or um, donated to Goodwill, charities. Um, but uh, actually, uh, it just reminds me of the time when I was a child and spent time with my grandparents. So uh, this will be on uh, on a shelf somewhere in my house. And on the same day, 
I saw this, which it is a um, candle holder, glass candle holder. Um, it is, uh, what do you call it, uh, Vaseline glass because of the color. So I don't know if it'll glow under a black light. Um, and uh, there's also another name for these, uh, this design, you know, like little bumps. Totally f forgot what it was called, but uh, $1.99 is worth it. You know, it's probably a $10, $15 item. Pretty neat. And on another occasion, I found these four just sitting on the shelves. And uh, 99 cents each. Looks like silver. Sounds like silver. But unpolished silver, like the bottoms, looks like aluminum. Now, I didn't have the benefit of uh, a magnifying glass at the day or at the time. But I noticed there's these little marks on the bottom. Like just one single mark on each one. Same spot. So I knew it must be some sort of European um, silver mark. So I bought them all, grabbed them right away, which you should do when you see something good. And here, see a lady's head with the number three on the bottom. So uh, what I learned, it is actually an Italian silver mark. Uh, if it was marked with the number one, it's like 950. 950 over a thousand silver uh, like 95 percent silver it if it was uh number two ladies head with the number two that's like 900 silver 90 percent then number three basically means it's 80 percent silver 800 over a thousand so coin silver 99 cents and look at the way they made it i mean it was made in two parts hammered silver uh, this part was cast, and it was, I think, soldered on. The base was soldered on because you see the roundness of the bottom. Really nice, and it definitely has some age to it. And perhaps, I don't know, 100 years? I don't know, 50, let's say 50 to 100 years. Pretty neat, and only for 99 cents each. So when I saw it, I just grabbed it right away, you know. Uh, and today, I found three objects. This one looks like uh, just an ordinary uh, pe uh, pepper, salt pepper shakers. Only found one. And uh, I always check, but uh, if you notice on the bottom, I'll just grab my lens here. It says Ilver. So... I figure that means silver, but it was not punched that well. And it's sort of like an Art Deco-ish design. Pretty neat. And just open this up. Look at the quality. They actually have a glass liner. So you know it was an expensive item when it was brand new. Sounds like silver. Weighs almost two ounces, like 50 some odd grams. So, don't know, I, I don't think it is European or uh, English silver. It might be American or Canadian, you know, because it just states in English silver and no marks or anything. So that was pretty neat. That was uh, only 99 cents. Sort of reminds me of, of a um, lady's lipstick case. And I also found this, I think it's called a cruette jar, like a condiment jar. And it came with the lid. It was only $1.99. It's cut glass and the lid I noticed right away had some hallmarks now I won't try to blow it up because um, it's really rubbed I mean I can tell heads or tails well actually you know, I'll show it anyways 
silly coin picker insisted on me showing it. So maybe someone can figure it out. Let's see. Alright. I'll just swap this around. See, it's totally a blur, even with the lens. It so, kind of spells, spells out silver. Well, no, these are separate little marks representing, you know, how pure the silver is and where it came from. So it must have some sort of age. Um, does someone really like to polish their silver? So I'm figuring that... Uh, just by the design, it's probably from the late 1800s. Um, yeah, like maybe 1880, 1890. Possibly turn of the century, turn of the last century. So pretty good for $1.99. And this lid is like 16 grams of silver. And the last thing, I'll show you all sides of it first. Last but not least, I found this huge, huge brass plaque today with these items. And it looks like Indian in origin. Look at the design. It's like there's elephants and people riding them and it's being chased, chased really well, like the, the quality of the detailing. And $4.99. And I'm pretty sure this is like at least two pounds, maybe three. So I definitely paid less than the metal value. But look at that quality. Now, I'm figuring it has some sort of age to it. You know, it must be some, it must be antique. I mean, probably a hundred years old, maybe slightly less. But it looks like a pic. You know, it's shaped like a picture frame. So it's like British India, I figure. And on the back, there's really nothing. But just sort of made the old fashioned way, just hammering it out. No markings. But look at the oxidation. And it looks like they taped it somewhere, like double-sided tape. Yeah, if anyone has any information about this, definitely worth the five bucks. But it's it's pretty huge. It's like a foot and a half, I think almost one foot, one foot by two two feet. Anyways, these are my finds for the last couple weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a variety of items. Anyways, um, this is it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker and... Silly Coin Picker out.